Roads and Transport CS Kipchumba Murkomen has called for coding to become an integral part of the national curriculum, highlighting its potential to address educational inequality and equip students with crucial skills for the digital age. Murkomen spoke at the official launch of coding studies at OLC Muguid Girls in Muranga County, a model coding school established through a partnership between the Ministry of Education and education technology firm Codris Africa. And let me shock you, in terms of ICT competence and awareness, I do not know another public school, maybe because I've not traveled uh, of late to many public schools, but I do not know another public school that has the exposure that you people have. And I want to thank uh, Codris and uh, working together with all the partners who are here for the work you've done to say we will boldly establish ICT and uh, coding as integral part of the curriculum in this school. These students from this school are being to exposed to something that many students in national schools have an opportunity the way you have. And because of this I say, and I was mentioning to uh, uh, my friend uh, uh, Anthony here that this should be part of the national curriculum. The example being set here should just be compulsory as a national curriculum. The coding initiative by Codris Africa is supported by Safaricom, KCB Group and Cooperative Bank and aims to position Kenya as a leader in digital education and create a talent pipeline for the global tech market. See, as Murkomen observed, quote unquote, these students are being exposed to something that many students from national schools have no opportunity for. This example being set here should be compulsory in the national curriculum, end of quote. With the global demand for skilled coders on the rise, the program aims to position Kenya as a leader in digital education, creating a talent pipeline for the international tech market. The CS said, quote unquote, if you want to bridge the gap that is there because of inequalities, it is for us not to give excuses and say we do not have the infrastructure. It is to improvise and make sure that we give all our children the opportunity to become global citizens the way this program has been done. End of quote. He added that he will tell the president of the CS Education that every other school should send their students to Muguiri Girls to see what's happening in the school. OLC Muguiri Girls has been developed as a model school for coding, utilizing a Ministry of Education approved curriculum. This exemplary school boasts a stellar track record in computer studies, with all 55 students achieving top marks in 2023 and a near-perfect showing in the previous year's KCPE exams. A video showcasing Guiri's innovation was recently presented in London as part of the Commonwealth Business Women Africa activities. This exposure underscores the school's potential to inspire a national coding education initiative. The CS added, quote unquote, we believe it is crucial to equip school children with technological knowledge. I congratulate the school for its innovative education programs. Through such education, we can ensure a bright future for our country. I am confident that we will continue to make great strides as a country in ICT, end of quote. The CS was accompanied by the school's board chairman and Kenya Revenue Authority chairman Anthony Maura and presidential advisor on ICT Dennis Itumbi, among other leaders. Itumbi echoed Murkomen's sentiments, emphasizing the impotence of coding as the language of the future. Itumbi said, quote unquote, every child in our country deserves to learn coding. Muguri Girls is going to produce the next apps, the next generation of social campaigns and platforms, end of quote. Every child in our country deserves a chance to do coding. Not only because coding is cool, 
and is unconventional, but because coding is the language of the future. And that future is now. If the West discovered Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, Mogoewe Girls is going to produce the next apps, the next generational social campaigns and platforms. It will be urged the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of ICT to collaborate with partners like Safaricom, Codris Africa, and other partners to sponsor coding courses and support students nationwide. President William Ruto's administration has already announced steps towards mainstream coding education. On Jamhuri Day last year, President William Ruto announced that the government would train 42,000 teachers on delivering KICD approved coding lessons in an ambitious move to introduce computer programming lessons across the country. This initiative, aimed at mainstreaming KICD approved coding lessons in primary and secondary schools, seeks to equip a generation of students with the essential skills for thriving in the digital economy. President Ruto stated, quote unquote, Google, in collaboration with the Ministries of Education, ICT and Digital Economy, has begun implementing a Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development approved coding program in primary and secondary schools to reach 4 million learners. The partnership will train 42,000 teachers. End of quote.